I welcome this decision today of the full Federal Court of Australia. It's a victory for transparency and accountability. And uh, it's after a, what has been a far too long battle over a very, very simple Freedom of Information Act request. Uh, this is a request that I made of Senator Brandis for his diary in weekly outlook format. It was a request made way back in March of 2014. Uh, Senator Brandis's ridiculous response was to refuse to process this request at all. Not claim exemptions, but to refuse to even process the request. It was necessary, unfortunately, to go right through the processes of the uh, internal review, information commissioner, then to the Administrative Appeals Tribunal, where Justice Jane Jago, sitting as the Administrative Appeals Tribunal, rejected Senator Brandis's claim, and this is an important thing to keep in mind, his claim was that it would be a substantial and unreasonable interference with his functions as Attorney General to even process the request. You only have to state that proposition to see how ridiculous his position was. He claimed at one point that it would take more than 600 hours of officials' time, of his own time, to process this simple request under the Freedom of Information Act. Having been rejected, having had his claim rejected by Justice Jago, Senator Brandis even more ridiculously appealed to the full Federal Court of Australia, that's three judges of the Federal Court of Australia, and is, as late as this morning Senator Brandis was claiming that this was an important matter of principle, he was claiming that it would determine the scope of the FOI Act. And we've now seen, we have the reasons of the full Federal Court, that his appeal has been rejected with costs. And uh, it, it raised no point of principle. It raised no question of the scope or the interpretation of the Freedom of Information Act. Rather, it was a simple upholding by the full Federal Court of a pretty simple decision by Justice Jago in the Administrative Appeals tri Tribunal rejecting Senator Brandis's ridiculous stonewalling attitude. He's the minister responsible for the Freedom of Information Act. That's the irony here. He's the senior minister in the government who should be actually upholding the principles of the Freedom of Information Act, upholding the idea of transparency and accountability, setting an example for other ministers, setting an example for departments of the Commonwealth to follow. And I hope he's learned a lesson from this. He's now cost the Australian taxpayer well in excess of $50,000. Uh, that's money that could have been far better spent on a community legal centre, uh, providing advice potentially to hundreds uh, of clients uh, who need legal advice. But instead it's been wasted on this ridiculous appeal. I'd call on Senator Brandis to now say definitively that he will not be wasting further taxpayers' money by going on to the High Court of Australia, uh, which he could potentially do, and I sincerely hope he does not. I call on him to say that he won't. Uh, because that would be a further ridiculous waste of taxpayers' money. Instead, he should expeditiously process this request, which was always a simple request. It was a simple request uh, prompted uh, by the fact that Senator Brandis, despite uh, dishing out massive cuts to the legal assistance sector, to community legal centres, to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander legal services, wasn't prepared to meet with them, wasn't prepared to meet with them or their peak bodies uh, before dishing out those cuts. Uh, he should now process the diary, this request for his diary promptly uh, and should get on with it.